channel now my name is Jennifer if you guys are new here and today's video is going to be about the things that I found at home goods Target um, I even I say one thing from Sam's Club but I think it's really cute and I actually want to share it with you guys and I think I have one other thing from Walmart but other than that, if you guys like these type of videos, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs bell up. That way you guys are notified whenever I upload a video. And also don't forget to thumbs up as well because it will really help a sister out. But let me stop rambling on and let's just jump right into it because I got a couple big finds that are really really nice and i'm going to have everything that i can find listed down below that way if you guys are interested in it you guys can just scroll on down and then just click on it and purchase it yourself i think i'm going to start off with the little things that i found like the one item that i found at walmart just to kind of get it out the way which is actually this throw a blanket right here as you guys can see now they have these on sale right now because it is still technically summertime um but in a couple more months it's going to be fall so i suggest that you guys jump on it and buy it right now that way you guys have it around fall time and you guys are not paying full price so this thing is super soft i like the colors of it because it is pretty much a neutral tone but it has a little bit of hints of gray in it and to me it kind of gives more of a golden undertone um that is definitely the decor that i'm going for in my house i do have a lot of grays and golds a little bit of silvers and then i also have black accents as well so i thought that this blanket right here would just look super nice just thrown on the sofa or even thrown on the foot of the bed um it is super long as well and like i said it's really 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 soft so this i want to say it was around 27 dollars i think original price was 40 um i will have it listed down below if you guys are interested and they do have a lot of different other colors so they have some they're a little bit more gray undertone um brown i think they even had like a black one so whatever your style is they're definitely going to have all sorts of different blankets for you to choose from so that is my find from walmart i found this soap dispenser at sam's club let me bring it closer so it says hand soap right there um the fragrance that it comes in i'm um, very fruity but it smells really good actually the reason i want to include this in this video is because it came with a set of two of them um for about 20 bucks with the soap inside of it i love that it says hand soap up here and then the handle is black but it's kind of like old school looking handle um so like i said my decor is it has black incorporated in it um and then i also like throwing in a little bit of that old school touch here and there with a little bit of modern as well so i thought that this would look really nicely in the guest bathroom and then i also have the other one in the kitchen as well forever whenever we want to wash our hands and things like that so this is pretty cute so now let's just jump right into target because i only have about three things that i found at target so the first thing that I found at Target was actually this um, wall art right here. I paid around $17 for it. It was on sale. So I really like it because it has like the, the gold frame. Um, it has the gray in it with the gold as well as like a little bit of beige up here. So it has the three colors that I'm really going for inside my house. So I think it looks really, really nice and elegant. I am obsessed with abstract art that is actually one of my favorite arts out there i love everything that has like abstract incorporated um i also like that the gold here is pretty shiny and reflecting and then like i said in the back it's just like more matte gold and then up here we have like white and a little bit of beige and then the grays down here so I originally had this in my living room, which was actually right there. 
um but i ended up moving it over to the bathroom because we ended up putting some wings um wings cotton wings coating wings cotton girl so the the art piece that i used to have in there it just didn't fit in there no more and it just wasn't really tying in with the bathroom so i ended up moving it out and then i switched this one in there so this was only 17 dollars. original price was actually 30 so i think it was pretty good for such a big um work of art and then also the frame is you know a pretty good frame it's not something cheap so i really like this one so this was the other piece of art that i found at target this thing was i want to say original price was 70 and i ended up paying about 30 bucks for it which is amazing because as you guys can see it is a pretty big piece of artwork um so then it has the frame in that is gold as well and then it has all the colors that i like so it even has like hints of black as well so it goes really nicely with my decor and like i said i really like um just like motions and like abstract art i don't like anything that's like too formal kind of like a i don't know let's just say the beach or people the only thing that i do like that's a little bit more formal is horses i like artwork that has horses in it but this was actually my other great find now this is more of a clear like a plastic a uh, piece of artwork is not something that is like a canvas that you can actually feel the textures so this is like a film so you don't feel no texture whatsoever that's the only downfall but other than that i don't think it was that bad for 30 bucks now inside of my guest bathroom we actually renovated it a couple months ago but i was still decorating um so whenever you're standing like right in front of the sink wherever the mirror is that back wall i wanted something there but i didn't want something too big because right next to the sink so i had the piece of artwork which was a pretty big piece there and it says the bathroom it is kind of small i didn't want too much clutter going on so then on the other side of the wall we have like wherever we hang our towels and then we just had like that one little spot that was empty and i wanted something there i knew i wanted something that was going to have gold and black in it but i didn't want something too over big and too overpowered so i went to target and then i ended up finding these little wall decor pieces so it came with a set of three so the other one that's actually over there um it's a lot bigger than this one and i like it because you know it's kind of small but it's still a great statement and then it also has three pieces so you're actually able to like incorporate it like this like random all over the wall like smallest to biggest or you know just like you're able to move it around this set of three was around 16 dollars um so you can also not only use it on the wall because um the back of it it is flat so as you guys can see it does have the little hole right there where you're able to like mount it to the wall but if not you can actually put it on the coffee table the side table you can actually incorporate it anywhere else inside the house on top of a book and it will still look very nice and elegant so this was actually another great find that i found at target i love these little things all right, so now we're going to move on to Hunkers, which is one of my favorite stores. So these are things that I kind of found like a couple weeks back because recently, recently I went on Monday to Hunkers and I didn't find absolutely nothing that I was in love with. It was pretty much empty. Um, I think they're getting ready to start bringing in seasonal pieces and so i didn't find anything that i love so i guess we're going to start off with the smallest things um which is actually this little set of like a teacup set which was super cute and adorable so i did want something over in my little coffee bar area i wanted something white and gold and elegant and i wanted like a little tea set so i ended up finding this 
which actually brings the cup, the little teacup, and then also the little plate. Now this little set was $3.99. I ended up buying three of them because I couldn't find a fourth one. Uh, but I think it's just so cute and elegant looking that whenever I have company over, they, I can either give them tea or coffee with them, with the set. And I like the way the little handle is, how it just has like little details because that's one of my um, things. I love details on everything. So I really like this little find. So it, I also found, I guess I want to say like the little sugar um, dispenser, but I'm actually, I actually put coffee in it. Um, it is summertime and I don't really like leaving sugar out there because you know how you get those little sugar ants inside the house. So I'm not up for that whatsoever. So I ended up putting coffee inside of it, as you guys can see. Um, I think it's so cute. I think this little set kind of reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, like the little Mrs. Pots and little Chip, um, so this actually came with the little spoon as you guys can see so this one was actually $4.99 which is not that bad for this cute little set and then i also ended up finding the milk jug as you guys can call it this one was $3.99 so it matches with the set as well I think it's so cute and elegant so i like vases i like like little pieces of decor scattered throughout the house so i ended up so i ended up coming across this cute little vase right here um this was actually the only one that i found that had like this style going on i wish i would have found something a little bigger or like skinnier and longer that way i was able to like elevate things um so it's cute because it has like the white and gold which i love it's kind of modern looking but it's still pretty eye catching so i paid 12 dollars for this which is i think is a pretty good fine um so yeah i'm kind of like on the hunt for either the i'm obsessed with the ginger jars I'm really interested in either finding a white one or a white and gold one, but I also like the ones that have more of that traditional blue china pattern. I think they're so cute and adorable. I kind of been having them on my mind. Um, I kind of want to buy them, but I'm scared that it might clash with the rest of my decor in my house. But over where the dining room area is, I have like this big um, like hutch thing and I want to decorate it with plates. So I was kind of thinking of either grabbing a little bit of that like china pattern print and putting it on there that way it just pops out or even in the kitchen on top of the counter, um, not on top of the counter, on top of the cabinets. I have a little bit of decor going up there, but I think I can maybe get away with those little um, ginger jars to have that china blueprint. But I don't know. I'm kind of like scared that I might get over it too quickly, but I know it is something that is very classic because my grandma has some inside her house and she's been having it for years and years and years. And a lot of people that I know, they've had those kind of... Um, the core pieces in their kitchen and they've had it for years so i think it's something that's classic and timeless so i'm kind of interested in getting one of those but yeah i'm really in the hunt for one of the ginger jars white and gold that would be amazing um i also ended up finding a set of pillows which i think they're so cute and adorable so this is the pillows that i found so it was a set of two they were around twenty dollars um i like them because they go really nicely with this little love chair that i have in my living room it is gray with gold legs but on top of it i actually have this blanket that i've had for years and years and years that i bought way back in the day at pure one and it's like this um like crochet or twine or i don't know how to call it 
um, little detail on the blanket and it also has like reflectors of like gold and silver and this pillow goes really nicely with that blanket and it also goes really nicely with the love seat as well so i'm actually really happy that i found this at home goods because before i had this other set of pillows on there and it just really wasn't going really nicely with the vibe but as soon as i put this on top of it it just came in nicely together so i love these pillows and then i also like how they just you know keep the form because you know how some pillows are that they just tend to lose their form and then they just get all ugly looking and you know you just basically want to throw it out but not these you can just basically hit them in the center and they just stay nice and plump so i like those really nice. last but not least is actually another wall arts i love wall arts seriously like <sighs> anything that's like pretty big looking and abstract i'm like drawn to it i just love wall pieces and i'm actually kind of upset because my house doesn't have that much walls um but my house has a lot of windows which is actually the plus because i love a lot of natural light i hate houses that are pretty dark they depress me a lot um but i kind of like putting my wall arts wherever i can find a space for it so this is actually the last piece right here so this is actually the last piece as you guys can see it's a pretty big piece as well now this one it has the black framing around it and then like i said it has like the abstract going on it has golds and whites and beiges, but it has mainly a lot of black. So originally I had this in my bathroom. Um, I think it just looks super nice in there, but I ended up moving it because of course when we did the Wayne's cotton in there, it just wasn't fitting that well with the wall. It was just too elevated. Um, and then also over where my laundry room is, we ended up putting some nice wall design pieces going on. And this looks actually a lot nicer over there because it's actually hiding the electrical box. Um, this was the only wall piece that I found that was able to hide it perfectly without it being too big. And bulky so I actually moved it over there so I'm actually gonna show you guys little clips of where I have everything decorated that we guys can get the idea of how to decorate things and like how they look in the space um, and also the original size so this was actually the last piece that I found at home goods this one was around 50 bucks a little pricey but not that much and then this is more of that canvas um well it actually is a real canvas so you're actually able to touch it and it has like that 3d um art going on but i think it just looks so pretty and i love it so those are actually all the things that i found is scattered in all the little stores out there i don't know what's going on maybe it's because of the coronavirus but there's not that many nice things out there pretty hard finding a lot of nice pieces but also i've been noticing especially at home goods um things are kind of changing more into that um restoration hardware decor and i like some pieces do not get me wrong i love some of the pieces that you can find but a lot of it does not go nicely with my house it kind of clashes a little bit so I feel like it's a little hard finding things that are a little bit more on the glam side because like I said, I'm a little extra. I like things shiny and glam and in your face. That's just how I am, but I don't do too much of it because I don't want my house to look too clutter. Um, so I like doing like little pieces here and there. That is the end of the video. If you guys liked it, please thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you guys are not missing out on any of my future videos. I am going to start incorporating more home decor into this channel and I'm going to show you guys more of my home because 
I'm really, really interested in interior design and we bought this house about two years ago and we did a lot of renovations. So I think I'm going to show you guys the renovations that we did that we guys can have ideas because we did everything ourselves DIY and also I like to do everything with a budget like a pretty small budget if I can. I don't like spending that much money because I don't feel like it's necessary, especially if you're going to have to change it out within a couple of years because that's how the core tends to be every couple of years, you kind of change things out. So you don't want to invest too much into it if you're going to change it out in the future. Um, so yeah, like I said, do not forget to subscribe and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.